So now with everything selected, the next step would be to combine all of them together in a group. But in order to do that, I want to show you how Illustrator arranges all of this content. And that's done in the layers panel, which is at the upper right hand side of the interface. So I'm going to hover my cursor over the tab for the name layers. And I'm going to pull this out so we can see a little bit more clearly. You don't have to do this. I'm click and hold down and drag out and then let go of the mouse just here and it'll become a floating panel. I'll then need to hover my cursor over the very bottom edge of that panel and click and drag to increase the height of that panel. Now the way that layers work is that they are essentially a list referred to as a stack. Elements towards the top of the list will be at the front of the artwork on your artboard. Things lower down will be potentially at the back hidden by other elements. Now I've selected all of the shapes here that make up the face. Notice that the bounding box color is green. Now that tells me that those objects live in a layer called family because it's color coded the same green as well. And it also highlights the layer that they live in. Obviously we have lots and lots of shapes in this document, but we only have five layers in here that we can see. If I wish to see the individual objects that I've got selected, I can actually go to that layer called family and hover over the toggle in here to expand it open with a left click. And you'll notice that if I just make this panel a little bit wider by hovering over the right hand edge and pull it across, Whenever you create anything inside of Illustrator, it will have very generic names such as path or ellipse or rectangle. They won't be named things like ear left or ear right. I've changed the name of those to make it look a little bit easier to follow in here. So within this document, all of the content is stored within five parent layers. The one that we're focusing on here is called family. It, and like any other parent layer, can store multiple shapes and elements within it. And those elements are called child layers. Notice that they are indented to the right hand side. But what you'll notice is that all of the shapes and the elements that make up this facial expression are located in the middle of the layers panel, starting with path and then going all the way down to something called ellipse. And watch what happens then when I group those elements together. I'm going to go up to the object menu because that's what we're working with, an object or a series of objects. And the command in there is called group. When I click on this, take a look at the layers panel. All of those separate things are then condensed into one item and given the wonderfully generic name of group in there. Now, if you wish to, you could rename that. I'm going to hover over and double left click over the name that opens up a type entry field. And then from there, I could call that, well, face one and hit return. That's how you name things. Now, I'm not suggesting you go through and name everything. You probably spend more time naming stuff inside of Illustrator than actually getting any production work done. You'll notice that everything that I grouped now, this is the container, the invisible container of the group as it's shown in the composition, but you can still see all of those separate elements. If I click on this toggle here for the new group, everything's still in there. All the separate paths and the ellipses in there that make up those shapes. That is now part of my group. I'm going to explore layers in a little bit more detail as we work through this exercise, but that's just to show you what's happening inside of Illustrator in terms of organizing and arranging things from front to back. With that done, I'm going to click away from my object and then I'm going to go up to the file menu at the top of the screen and I'll choose save just to capture those edits.